Tonight, we take a closer look at something that's become all the rage. CBD, or cannabidiol, it comes from the hemp plant, which may look identical to marijuana, but it's not exactly the same. Not exactly. CBD is used for all sorts of ailments, and Channel 3 Susan Raff is here to tell us why people are giving this a try. I have to be honest, most of it was my own curiosity. I really wanted to know what this was about. We see so much of it. And people are using CBD for a lot of different things, such as back aches, muscle aches, and even if they're having trouble sleeping. It has become one huge industry. As far as uh, different uh, healing properties and relaxing properties. By now, many people have heard of CBD. Signs are popping up all over the place. CBD is being sold just about everywhere. So what exactly is CBD or cannabidiol? It's an active ingredient in cannabis like marijuana, but it's in greater abundance in the hemp plant, and it does not cause the same high effect as THC. Some studies show CBD has a variety of health benefits, such as reducing seizures and chronic pain. People are asking for this, so let's, let's think about it. Gloria Crouch has many CBD products at her Milford store. She even uses it herself. I tried it and I found that I was concentrating a little bit better and I was sleeping better. And that pain that I just took for granted every morning in my lower back, so, you know, I seem to kind of start moving a little bit easier in the morning. When CBD first started, it was mainly in things like oils and creams, but CBD has come a long way and it's in many different products. Things like soaps, bath products, tea, and yes, even water. But we really don't know a lot about CBD, so is it safe? Could someone get hurt or could have a negative effect by taking it? Not that we're aware of. Um, we haven't heard of anyone having any kind of negative effect. According to the Harvard Medical School, possible side effects include nausea, fatigue, and irritability. CBD can also react adversely with certain medications. CBD is sold as a supplement and is not currently regulated by the FDA. Hemp is only grown in a few states. This year, Connecticut became one of them. Hemp is used for many things, rope, textiles, clothing, but it's CBD where lots of money is expected to be made. And until now, all of the CBD that came into our state was grown elsewhere. However, that is about to change. This South Windsor tobacco farm just started planting hemp. They'll harvest their first crop this fall. And the University of Connecticut is also breaking new ground, growing hemp for research to help us learn more about this increasingly popular plant. Lawmakers approved hemp farming earlier this year, and since then, 66 licenses have been granted. Hemp is now being grown on some 235 acres here in Connecticut, and 14 more licenses are still pending. All for CBD. Well, I would venture to say that most of it for CBD. Again, it is grown for other things, but hemp has become so profitable and CBD. Mm. In fact, a lot of relationships are now being forged between the farmers and these CBD companies. So they see uh, some good money in that. Yeah, good growth coming. That's, that's for sure. That's for sure. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. All right, Thank you, Susan, Susan. Thank you.